Gemini, how are you doing? Welcome into your three-day forecast reading from the 4th until the 6th of November, which is from Friday until Sunday. We're going to be looking into your past, present and future and see what is coming up around you at this time and what you need to hear at the time that you get this reading. Okay, so let's get into this. I am clearing the cards of all previous readings that I've done and I'm asking now that Gemini's beautiful and amazing energy can come in here so that we can get the messages out for you. I am calling in your spirit guides and my spirit guides as well to help us and aid us in this reading so that we can get the messages out to you Gemini let's get in here and have a look and see what's going on with you first card out I am going to get a moonology card out is this going to give a basic understanding um uh what is going on in your world okay what is happening in your world uh what the main energies may be around you so let's have a look and see what's going on here for my Gemini's out there it's so curious. Wow. You are very close to achieving a goal. So you're very close to getting somewhere. And um, this is Gibeus moon. So it shows you, you know, when the moon looks like, you know, sometimes you go outside and you look at the moon. And it's, oh, it's full moon. Actually, it's not full moon. It looks so bright and big. It's the moment or the day before full moon. It can confuse us sometimes. Um, you're so close to getting there. Do not give up on something right now. Keep going forward. Even if you're going, wow, um, I, I wonder if I'll ever be in a relationship or I wonder if I'm going to be able to make this situation work. I wonder if I'm going to be able to start a new life, um, start a new job, or work on my career, whatever it may be for you. You're very close. Um, do not give up. This is like knocking on your doorstep. It's right around the corner for you. Okay. So this is when the most scary time is in, in life, honestly. It's when we can give up. It's when we can kind of go, I'm, I'm working so hard. I'm doing everything right. I'm not seeing anything happening. And this is usually when people give up and they don't know. They don't know just another week, another month, another two months, you would have made it. So please uh, don't give up on something right now. Let's see, Gemini, uh, past for you. What has been going on here? Nine of Pentacles, nice energy, a tower card. Oh boy, oh boy, Gemini, present energy right now. King of Inspiration or a King of uh, Wands, which is Muse of Inspiration. Another King as well. A lot happening here. Um, the King of Voices future for you another king holy moly king of pentacles and the four of pentacles here you have been taught a lesson um i can see that right now what happened to you that's why you must not give up here but you're determined right now i can pick up that you are determined here I'm going to tell you something about what's going on and why you must not give up, please. The Nine of Pentacles shows here there was either some kind of stability in your life. You were in control of your life here with the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is either earning a really good salary, you have a nice home, you've got a good car, you've got all these kind of things happening, or you're in a nice stable relationship. Um, there's a situation going on here where it's all unfolding basically in your favor. But then we've got a tower card underneath it here. This is past energy. So there could have been an ending to what you had here. Something happened. The tower came falling down. This is what came crashing down. So it was either a breakup occurred in a, something that you thought that was going to be forever. Or financially, um, there was a something uh, occurred here that uh, you really took a financial loss. You lost your job or you uh, got into a situation where you didn't have enough money to do what you needed to do. Something happened here. A reality check happened with regards to this. Now, um, it's really interesting as I feel that even though something has gone wrong here, I do feel like you are still working on fixing whatever this is or fixing up your life, rebuilding from, from scratch again. In current energy, there's a lot of kings coming up here. Okay, you got a king of inspiration and a, a or muse of inspiration, muse of voices. This is swords, this is um, wands, both of them are kings. The interesting thing about this reading is that there is not a lot of action orientated cards here. There's more your energy and what's happening inside of you. So in other words, an action orientated card would be, I feel insecure. I'm feeling really great. Okay. I'm making moves. I'm doing things that I want to do. All right. With the Kings coming up here, this is really your energy. It's showing what's going in, on inside of you. With the wands coming in here, and I feel like, let's look at the wands first of all, the inspiration. I feel like you've got hope. 
I feel like you got hope to be able to get yourself back to where you meant to be or even maybe find a relationship that's really good for you whatever this means to you um with the king of wands coming in yeah you got that inspiration that's why it's called inspiration and I feel like some part of you is going I think it's going to be okay I'm going to be okay. Things are going to unfold. I don't believe anything will go wrong. Okay. That's a good energy to have. All right. With the, um, the swords energy coming in here, um, or the, you know, this, the voices in this deck, this is your clear thinking. This is clear thinking and it is your energy being the air energy as well. It shows that you are looking at every situation around you, looking at the problems that may be happening. Um, and you're looking at it with cold heart clarity. You're, you're thinking very uh, clearly as to what to do next. So I really do think also with the King of Swords coming in here, you're determined. Um, you're ready to make the moves that you're meant to make so that you can get yourself back to where you were. I kind of feel like you were already in a good place here. So you did this once already. And something could have went wrong here. And because you've seen the success, you've seen the, the life that you can create for yourself, you really are in the knowledge that you can do it again. So this is why this card has come up here. Because now we're moving into the future. What you want to see happening here to get yourself back to this place, it's going to be a little bit delayed. <laughs> and this is why they're asking you, please, Gemini, please keep going. Please keep going. You're, you're close. Even when you feel like it doesn't come in when you want it to come in, which is going to cause you to get a little bit of insecurity here. Please, please, please do not give up. I feel like what you believe in, you're so like, I'm going to have this. I'm going to get this sorted. I'm going to get this thing sorted out. I'm going to go back to where I was. Everything's going to be okay for me. I know I can do this. I feel like there's a bit of a delay. To be honest with you, with the four pinnacles coming in here, it's either something that can start to shift in the new year or even over the next four months with the pinnacles energy. Because pinnacles is a bit of a slow moving energy. I feel like this creates almost like you don't believe it and it's going to create a bit of insecurity inside of you. At this moment in time, you need to keep pushing. When you see this block happening, when you see things not unfolding the way that you want to see it unfolding, please, please do not stop. Keep going anyway. You've got nothing to lose. But if you stop, you've got everything to lose. Okay? Because you've got another king. You have another king. Okay? And it's king of pentacles. Yes. You are going to get yourself there. You are going to get yourself to this place where you got back the stability that you want to have. You're either going to get financial stability back. You're going to get your career on the right path. Or you are going to be in this place where you have a stable, long-term relationship. You must just not give up before you see this coming in. Let me tell you, it exists in your future. You just got to get yourself, push yourself until you get to see this. If you give up on it before it happens, then you're never going to see it. Keep going. As she's walking, she's keeping going. She's moving towards that archway there, that opening that's over there. That's almost showing like another world. She's going to walk through that gangway over that into that doorway there it looks like another world inside of there you know look at that it's a whole nother world going on in there i think there's balloons flying over there or something going on it's something where you're going to see yourself being where you are not currently at to be honest with you the nine of pentacles is good but the king of pentacles is better so it's almost like what ended here a situation that took place here it's even unfolding in such a way that it is even better than where it was before so you're getting yourself to a place where you are going to be stronger, better, and more happier than where you were before. Just don't give up before it comes in, please, my beautiful Geminis. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you want to do so. And even go check out that daily content that I'm releasing. I literally record them wherever, wherever I am at the time. Sometimes I'm just sitting in my bed somewhere or outside and I'm just grabbing the camera and I'm just taking out some cards. It's actually quite fun, I'm just saying. But do catch it. I'm sending my... And by the way... I talk really fast, hey. I'm sending my love to you guys. Bye. <laughs>